This is John Black, super chemist, here to show you how to make some calcium hydroxide. Uh, here's the equation. I'm going to use some calcium chloride and some sodium hydroxide. You can see I need twice as much sodium hydroxide than I do calcium hydroxide, uh, calcium chloride. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, it will make calcium hydroxide and some table salt. So according to the equation, you'll get one mole of calcium hydroxide for every mole of calcium chloride, just like right here, one for one. Uh, but the next equation is when carbon dioxide uh, dissolves in the water and creates H2CO3, which is carbonic acid. Now you have an acid in the base. An acid in the base together makes salt water. So you make calcium carbonate water. All right, that's what I'm using, damp rid. You'll see up here on the top here, this is from the MSDS. It can be anywhere from 60 to 100%. It's kind of stupid to buy. I did a video on how to get calcium chloride or anhydrous calcium chloride. So if you're just using it as a drying agent, then it's no big deal. Uh, but uh, who was it? Mark B. Unas. Uh, suggested using Leslie's Coal Hardness Plus. Now that has, you can see from the MSDS, 94 to 97% calcium chloride. So if you want calcium chloride and you don't care about it being anhydrous, you know, you, you should buy this. You should really buy this either way. You know what I mean? It's a better product uh, with that much calcium chloride. I personally, I don't like going into a swimming pool place because they follow you around and they won't leave you alone. Like, so I don't personally like going to them, but uh, if you want to, I, I, you know, it's a good idea. That's for sure. So since we don't know the actual percentage of our calcium chloride from the damp rid, we'll have to figure something out. All right, as we discussed, I need twice as much sodium hydroxide according to the equation. I got 350 grams out of the bag of calcium chloride, the damp rid. Um, now, a mole of calcium chloride is 111 grams. So if I take 3 times 111, that's 333 grams. That's almost 350. I mean, come on, you know they put some sodium chloride in there. So let's just assume that most, there's 3 moles of calcium chloride. So I need 6 moles of this. So 3 moles times, and it's 40 moles, so that's 120 grams just to be the same as that but I need twice as much as that so I doubled it to 240 so I'm going to put 240 grams of sodium hydroxide in there but this is more uh, comes out of solution when you have an, a basic solution so I'm going to have to even add even more than that so we'll see right here I got uh, 350 grams of damp bread I'm going to get some water, some hot water, put it in there, and let it uh, dissolve. All right, I'm tired of waiting for everything to dissolve, so I'm going to filter this. And once you get your suction thing, see, I got a valve there. See that valve? I can shut it off and keep the vacuum on. And I don't have to have it. And I can keep that shut. And I don't have to worry about the noise. I don't have to worry about the vibration. I don't have to worry about the oil being splurted out. I split up the calcium chloride solution. I split up the calcium chloride solution. I, now since I split my stuff in half, I'm going to split the sodium hydroxide in half. I only weighed up 120 grams. I'm going to put it in this water. All right, there's my sodium hydroxide solution in water. Um, this is totally clear. I don't know why it's coming up on camera, but it's cloudy, but it is totally clear. Now, there's my calcium chloride. I'm going to throw some sodium hydroxide in, and let's see what happens. Stir it up. 
Now let's let that sit and settle. Hopefully it'll settle to the bottom. All right, there's 120 grams of sodium hydroxide. Got an arbitrary amount of water there. Starting out about 22 uh, Celsius. I'll dump it all in at once. Eighty. Eighty-five. Ninety. Can we get it to boil? Ninety-five. Close, 95. Now it's starting to go down. Well, I didn't press the record button, but I poured the sodium hydroxide into the second half there. And we're going to wait for it to settle out. I'll start that up and come back with it. Well, I got sick of uh, waiting for it to settle, so I put it in a big container. I should have learned my lesson from the first video where I did chromium hydroxide. So anyways... I basically filled this up with water like you see it now about five times I let it all the stuff settle to the bottom and then I used this fish tank siphoner see it's got the little bubble thing on there and I'll show you how to do it put it in there and just siphon it out Figure each time I do this, I'm getting like 90% of the water out. So that's getting rid of the, the, the byproducts that are soluble, like the sodium chloride, the potassium chloride. I'm going to start stuffing stuff up. Stop. And if you want that little bit that's left there, you can use a turkey baster. Get out a little at a time. So you get it all the way down. So after a couple of days, this actually compressed down more and I could get some more water out of there. I just used my uh, turkey baster. Just keep doing that until it gets down more and I'll, once I can't do this anymore I'll throw it on the heat so it uh, on the radiator so it evaporates all the water off or at least most of it I scrape it out of there put it on a pan throw it in the oven and let it dry I won't turn the oven on the pilot light itself will just dry it out I just kept this calcium uh, carbonate on the oh, hydroxide when I first made it on the uh, radiator until it got all dry and that and I put it in this jar and now it's calcium carbonate from all the carbon dioxide in the air and getting in the water so according to the equation you'll get one mole of calcium hydroxide for every mole of calcium chloride just like right here one for one uh, but the next equation is when carbon dioxide uh, dissolves in the water and creates H2CO3 which is carbonic acid now you have an acid in the base an acid in the base together makes salt water so you make calcium carbonate water um, I got 71 grams um, that's 71 percent of a mole so if I took, and this is a, a mole of calcium chloride, so if I take 71% of that, that means I only started with 79 grams of calcium chloride, which means that the stuff I started with, the 350 grams, only 23% of that is calcium chloride. However, I did, there was a lot of loss 
sure I lost maybe 30 grams or something. Um, but anyways, I, I didn't need a lot. Here's my heeled. I got it in a jar. Labeled it. Oh, I put hydroxide on there. This is carbonate. That's for sure. Uh, anyways, everyone have a great day. And always remember, science is great.